1948 Michigan Wolverines entered the season on a 14-game winning streak. Yes, they had finished 1947 at a 10-0 as national championships. Head football coach Fritz Chrysler resigned as head coach but stayed on as athletic director. He selected his backfield coach, Benny Oostervon, as the new head coach. Although he had been with the program for 24 years, he was best known as Michigan's basketball coach from 1936 to 1946. All four backfield starters, including Heisman Trophy runner-up Bump Elliott, who won the 1947 Big Nine MVP trophy, were gone. Many expected the Wolverines to finish third in the Big Nine this year. Michigan opened the season with a 13-7 victory over Michigan State, and immediately people started talking smack about Oosterbond, saying he's a basketball coach, the team is not going to be that good, because they expected Michigan to beat Michigan State by much more. Well, things changed. <laughs> By week two, they took on the Oregon Webfoots. Yes, they were not called the Ducks. They were called the Webfoots back then. And they were playing against superstar quarterback Norm Van Brocklin. Up seven to nothing in the third quarter, Chuck Ortman intercepted a Norm Van Brocklin pass. That ended the drive. Michigan responded by driving the field to make it 14 to nothing. And that's where the final score stood. Big wins over Purdue and Northwestern moved the Wolverines up to the number one position just in time for the Little Brown Jug game. Yes, the game against Minnesota. Minnesota was number 13 at the time, but Michigan handled them pretty easily, 27-14. to 14. A 28-20 victory over Illinois was followed by a convincing victory over Navy, 35 to nothing. Week 8 saw them make short work against Indiana, 59 to nothing. This was their most decisive win of the year. Week 9 saw them going up against Ohio State, not only for the Big 9 championship, but much more. The game was played in front of 82,754 spectators, the second largest crowd in Ohio Stadium history up to that point. Michigan was favored in the game by 14, but Ohio State dominated the line of scrimmage in the first half, allowing just three first downs by Michigan, including one that came on a penalty. Ohio State led 3 to nothing at the end of the first quarter, and by halftime, Michigan had made it 7-3. to three. In the fourth quarter, Michigan drove 62 yards for the second touchdown. With the mixed extra point, the final score was 13-3. Ohio State actually outgained Michigan on the ground 130 yards to 54, but Michigan outgained Ohio State in the air 116-73. Sitting at 9-0 in the final AP poll released at the end of November, Michigan was the pick for mythical national champion. Michigan received more than double the first-place votes of the second-place team, 192 to Notre Dame's 97. Notre Dame had finished the season 9-0-1, but Michigan's record was better against four of five common opponents. In an interesting twist, despite winning the Big Nine championship, Michigan was ineligible to represent the conference in the 1949 Rose Bowl. A Big Nine rule prohibited any team from making more than one Rose Bowl appearance in three years. Having just won it and the national championship the previous year, they were ineligible to play another game. Coach Ben Oosterbahn was later selected the Coach of the Year in a nationwide poll of football coaches. Despite their rocky start, the 1948 Michigan Wolverines completed the season undefeated and remained the last unanimous national title won by the Wolverines until 2023.